Before we can build dedicated rapid transit lanes, wider sidewalks, and plant beautiful greenery above ground, we need to go underground to the world of utilities. As we peel back the layers, you'll see that it's surprisingly busy down there. Let's take a closer look at just some of the infrastructure we depend on and the steps we take to relocate them. Just like renovating your kitchen, the work occurs in a specific sequence, sometimes requiring specialty crews to return after things set overnight or to reconnect services. Each crew of specialists excavates the ground, installs their materials, and restores the site. This process can be repeated numerous times for utility work located in the same area. That means different crews could return to the same spot many times to perform different work. After all the permits are obtained and before construction begins, crews need to find out where the existing utilities are. The most common things you'll find are storm and sanitary sewers and pipes, water mains, gas mains, electrical wires, television and internet cables and phone lines. Storm and sanitary sewers collect runoff from the street and wastewater from homes and businesses. Since the roadway is being widened, those pipes and manholes need to be relocated and new connections made. Water mains provide us with clean water and supply fire hydrants for emergencies. As we widen the roadway, the fire hydrants are also updated and placed in appropriate locations considering the planned growth for the area. Gas mains help us cook our food and heat our homes and businesses. Connections to every customer service line from the new gas main will then be made along the construction corridor. Duck banks are also being installed to protect and consolidate utilities. In a duck bank, utility cables and lines are bundled together and pulled through round channels protected by concrete or metal casings. These duck banks make future upgrades and maintenance to the wires or cables faster and easier to perform, without having to redig along the entire length. We're also including the latest technology under the planters that allow trees and other plants to have deep, healthy root systems, which also helps provide natural stormwater management on site. So what happens when there's a bridge or culvert in the way of underground utilities, you may ask? The utilities are incorporated into the design of the structures, sometimes placed along the side, underneath, or within them. We're just scratching the surface, but you can see why, for safety reasons, some crews can't work with other crews in the same place. They need to be separated by time and space. So different specialty crews may visit the same site multiple times to replace and update our infrastructure, which is an investment in our communities and quality of life.